you have recently gotten married or you're planning on getting married or you have completed one year of cohabitation with your partner and now you have become common law partners and you're wondering how uh, you can sponsor your partner whether it's your spouse or a common law partner and bring them to Canada. This video is for you and we're going to cover everything about spousal sponsorship or common law partner sponsorship whether it's done inside Canada or outside Canada. Welcome back to the channel guys. My name is Dhruv. I am a regulated Canadian immigration consultant and at our firm FCN Immigration Inc. We assist all the prospective immigrants with their applications to Canada, be it for a tourist visa, work visa, study visa, uh, PR applications, etc, etc. So if you have any questions, this is our contact information on the screen. Please feel free to get in touch with us. You can email us, call us whatsapp us and we would be happy to assist you first of all what is spousal sponsorship or common law partner sponsorship this is a process that the canadian government has defined for an applicant uh, to come to canada as permanent resident on the basis of the fact that they are married or they are in a relationship with a canadian permanent resident or a canadian citizen in simpler words you have a spouse or a common law partner you can bring them to canada as permanent residents through the sponsorship process and they will land in Canada or they will directly become a permanent resident of Canada by virtue of this process. Now if we look at the broader spousal sponsorship class, there are two main pathways you can choose. One is spousal or common law partner sponsorship inside Canada and the other is from outside Canada. The outside Canada uh, pathway is under the family class. It's called the family class applicants. The good news is both of these procedures have very similar process, almost identical process. So we will cover the process in this video. Of course, both of these programs have their own advantages and disadvantages. We won't cover that in this video. However, by the end of the video, you will get a sense of uh, what you need to do if you're applying for spousal sponsorship or if you're going to apply for spousal sponsorship, all the documents that you need uh, in terms of anything extra you need to do and what is the most important part of this application. So stay tuned until the end. Now the first question to answer is uh, once uh, you are ready to apply for spousal sponsorship, are there any specific documents that you require? how should you be prepared how do you make sure that your application goes in without any problem and it goes through the process without any hiccups now in terms of the document requirements the document requirements can be found in uh, the checklist that are uh, created by ircc so for a spousal sponsorship application the checklist is called imm 5533 here on the screen you can see a sample of imm 5533 and it contains, it's a long checklist by the way, and it contains all the documents that you need in order to apply for a spousal sponsorship application. Similarly, for a common law partner sponsorship, the checklist is called 5589, IMM 5589. On the screen, you can see a sample of IMM 5589. Both these checklists for spousal sponsorship or common law partner sponsorship, they're very similar except for a few minor differences. We'll go over the uh, common parts and then we'll go over more specific details as we go through the video. For uh, the generic documents uh, that are common to most of the PR applicants, uh, even for spousal sponsorship or common law partner sponsorship, these documents apply like the passport, the photographs, uh, you need the forms. Um, these are standard forms that are common to all PR applications. IMM 0008, IMM 5669, IMM 5406, IMM 5562. So uh, these forms are filled through the IRCC online PR portal. You don't need to fill any paper forms. Uh, the spousal sponsorship applicants uh, can now apply online. The application is completely online. Uh, you will fill in the forms online and you will upload all the documents online and submit. Now, apart from these uh, common standard documents, the most important thing that may take time for you to obtain is an upfront police certificate. For every applicant, you need a police certificate. For every applicant who is 18 or above that is a part of the sponsorship application, a police certificate is needed. So if uh, you're planning on applying, make sure you get the process for a police certificate started so that by the time you're ready to apply, you have the police certificate because that needs to be submitted upfront. The other document that a lot of people think that may be needed uh, upfront is a medical exam, but the medical exam is not required upfront. 
you will later receive a request to do the medical by IRCC. So you don't need to submit the medical uh, exam upfront. From the sponsor, uh, the most important document is of course a marriage certificate or a common law uh, partnership declaration, uh, whatever uh, applies to your case. And secondly, the sponsor needs to showcase that they have enough funds to support the person being sponsored. Now this is done through your job letter. If you're currently working in Canada, you can provide a job letter along with your previous year's notice of assessment. So for example, if you're applying in 2024, you can provide the notice of assessment for 2023 and your current job letter from your employer. In case you are unemployed or you're not currently working, then you have to provide alternate documents to prove that you have enough funds to support the person that you are sponsoring. Another document that is required for this application is a birth certificate. Um, Express entry does not require a birth certificate, but a sponsorship application requires one. So if you don't have one, make sure you have uh, prepared or you have applied for a birth certificate for the applicant as this would be required. Now, these are the standard documents we've talked about. After these, uh, there is one important aspect of this application and that aspect is showcasing the strength of your relationship, the genuineness of your relationship. So you need to prove that the relationship between the sponsor and the applicant is genuine and uh, you need to uh, convince the immigration officer that this marriage um, was not this marriage or common law partnership is not for uh, getting any immigration benefits is a genuine marriage uh, and for that these are the following proofs for the proof of relationship IRCC asks for uh, a list of documents if you are living together you have to provide proof of cohabitation. So it could be your ID documents with the same address, your bank statements with the same address, your lease documents, uh, residential lease or ownership documents with the same address to prove that you've been living together. You also need to provide some proof of contact in case you have not lived together or you're currently not living together to showcase that both the sponsor and the applicant are in contact with each other. This could be done via your uh, phone logs, your chat logs. Uh, you can provide screenshots from your WhatsApp chats. Uh, usually we recommend one or two screenshots from every month showcasing regular communication. So since your relationship started, you can try and provide one or two screenshots from every month up till the time you submit the application. And that should be enough to convince an officer. Then you need photographs. Uh, if you got married, photographs of your marriage ceremonies, of your uh, all the events uh, uh, with regards to related to the marriage. If you are common law partners, then photograph showcasing uh, your togetherness, showcasing uh, your cohabitation, photographs showcasing that uh, you have been with each other. So oftentimes, uh, if you're a couple, um, about to get married or also um, in, in a common law relationship, you would be taking photographs together. So if you go into your history of photographs, you can pick some photographs from there and provide those photographs. Uh, if you got married with all the different events, then for all of those events, for example, if you had a, um, a marriage ceremony, if you had a religious marriage, if you had a reception, if you had uh, say Sangeet ceremony, Haldi ceremony, Mehdi ceremony, you can take a few pictures from these and provide that with the application. You also need to showcase some proof of financial interdependency between you and your partner. So if you have sent them money, they have sent you money or you have a joint bank account, that would do. Along with it, uh, some support letters from your relatives. Some support letters showcasing uh, that they know about your relationship and they support your relationship. What we recommend is two letters from uh, the uh, sponsor's relatives, any relatives they could be, and two letters from uh, the applicant's relatives. So if uh, you're sponsoring your spouse, get two letters from your relatives and two letters from your spouse's relatives to showcase that uh, your uh, relationship is known to them and they support your relationship. Now this uh, gives a rough list of documents that are required for a spousal sponsorship application. Of course, um, every case is different and uh, the kind of documents that may be needed will vary case by case. However, roughly you would need to be prepared with all of these things, um, be it the photographs, be it uh, proof of 
cohabitation, proof of uh, uh, your outings together, uh, inter financial interdependency, all the standard identity documents, birth certificates, police certificates, etc. And uh, you want to be prepared with all of this. As mentioned before in the video, this application is submitted through the permanent residency portal. You can see a screenshot of the portal here. Um, it's completely online application. You will upload everything online and you'll make the submission. Once the application is submitted, IRCC will uh, process the application. While the application is being processed, uh, there are options for you uh, to get your spouse over here on a visitor visa or to get them a work permit. Both these things are possible. So in case uh, you have already applied for sponsorship or you're planning to apply, now the good news is you don't have to stay apart from your uh, from your spouse or partner for a very long time because IRCC has provisions to give them a visitor visa or a work permit or both uh, In case you have any questions specific to this you can always get in touch with us The application can take about 8 to 12 months uh, again these timelines are very uh, uh, Arbitrary they can change uh, however uh, The process would be as follows you will do the biometrics then they last for your medical and then they will process the application and uh, hopefully if they don't need any other information they will give you the permanent residence approval so that's it for today guys i hope this video gave a good overview of the spousal sponsorship process um, in this video i've tried to summarize the sponsorship process in the whole be it a spousal sponsorship or common law partner sponsorship in general apart from the regular documents that you need uh, the important thing in this application is proving the genuineness of your relationship and for that there is a list of documents we've talked about that uh, include but not limited to proof of your cohabitation currently or in the past photographs of your marriage ceremony or any other ceremonies that you have had photographs from your times that you've traveled together or you've lived together um, letter of support from your relatives uh, proof of financial interdependency etc etc i hope this video was helpful if you like this video please hit the like button subscribe to the channel and please hit the bell icon so that you're notified about any new video that we upload we keep uploading informative videos for all of you guys to stay informed and be able to understand ircc procedures thanks a lot for watching guys and i'll see you in the next video